Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cablevision's Neighborhood Journal. I'm Joanna Tower. And I'm Damian Riley. We've got a great variety of stories lined up for you as we roll into the month of November. This is a wonderful time of year to enjoy everything fall has to offer, including farm fresh products and meals. But while many enjoy traditional favorites like chicken, beef, or pork, there are some of us who prefer the more exotic tastes. That's right, like me. And in our first story, I paid a visit to a farm in Vernon, New Jersey, where they specialize in farm-raised game and all-natural meats. These big eggs come from, well, these big birds, who are raised here at Roaming Acres Farms in Sussex County for their meat. Lance Applebaum, who is the president and CEO of Fossil Farms in Booton, says his ostrich and game company started with an idea from his brother Glenn, who owns this farm. We basically started back in 1993. Uh, my brother and I were on a skiing vacation, um, and we were in two totally different businesses. Uh, I was in the sales field, and he was in the carpentry business. And uh, we went out west on a ski vacation, and we were amazed by the amount of game meats that were on restaurant menus. And they had ostrich, and they had bison, they had venison. And I'll never forget, we had a waitress come over to us, and she said, well, I want you to try something that's virtually fat-free, looks and tastes like beef, um, but it's, it's, it's ostrich. So my brother and I tried it, and we, we literally fell in love with it. Roaming Acres continues to grow steadily as land ships the ostrich meat out to top chefs and restaurants throughout the state. Resident Fossil Farm Chef Ben has cooked with numerous ostrich meats and understands the importance of the meat going from farm to table. To me, it's real rewarding to be able to cook from the opposite end, in a way, by, by knowing where the animal comes from, what it's fed, you can impart flavors while it's still alive that otherwise you couldn't do to create a premium product. Um, and in this, in this age, with our direct market, with our restaurants in New York City, they, they want the best. Yeah, I mean, ostrich, being that it's so lean, um, you really taste a lot of the minerality and the feed that they're given and what they're foraging here in the field, uh, as opposed to like beef or, or, or lamb where it's grain fed and, and you end up getting a, a more richer feel to it, a more richer palate where this flavor is just very, very clean. Um, and, and similar to like a grass-fed beef, if you will. You, know, you really taste the, the, the product of what they're eating. The live weight bird um, is around 200 pounds, and out of that you only get about 15 pounds of premium muscle meat. Everything else generally goes to either stew meat or burgers. So it's, it's an ultra premium that's put on those fillet steaks. Uh, it's most tender, definitely the best, most flavorful cut of the animal. Um, and given only 15 pounds out of each bird, it's a very limited amount. Ostrich is best when you sear it over high heat. You really want to lock in those flavors and the moisture. Uh, we just season this a little bit of salt, pepper, a little dusting of sage and chili powder. Um, it, it's really, you know, cooking, there's no limits to it. Especially nowadays with the way that the different methods you can use to cook the proteins, the different ingredients that you can use, there's really no, no limit to the combinations and the flavors that you can impart. Ben was kind enough to come out and cook for us right here on the farm. He cooked up a pan-seared ostrich filet with ginger butternut squash and spinach. Not too bad for spending the day with the ostriches. If you're looking at the birds, um, all of the meat comes from the legs, the back, and the thigh. There really is no breast meat off of an ostrich. Um, that's really fat that gets discarded through processing. Uh, the most tender part of the bird is our fillet muscles, um, which represents roughly about 10% of the animal. Uh, another 10 or 15% of the animal represents uh, steak cuts, which we will portion down to like a six or an eight ounce portion. And then the rest of the animal is the ever so famous uh, ostrich burger, 97% fat free burger. So these birds will stay at the farm for the next 12 to 14 months, and they grow a foot a month. After this process, we will bring them to our USDA um, processing company um, that does everything in a humanely way. And shortly after that, the meat is shipped to Fossil Farms Distribution Piedmont Center in Booton, here, where it is packaged and, and shipped out a day or Montana. two later to top chefs and clients around the state. Land says that people just want to know where their food is coming from. Whereas it used to be 
people were asking, well, what's the price of it? We're getting a lot of people asking now, well, tell me the story about it. Tell me where the product comes from. How is it raised? What are they fed? They, they really want to know those types of, of instances. I mean, these animals here, they're raised basically uh, with a chopped alfalfa diet. Um, all the other animals that we have raised for us, everything is, you know, done with an all-natural feed formula. Uh, from the Berkshire pork that we raise to our all-natural beef, I mean, to the various types of, of animals that we do. In the future, Roaming Acres wants to continue to make sure its customers know where their food is coming from and to educate the public on how to treat the farmland in the state of New Jersey properly. Ostrich meat might be a healthy alternative at your next dinner party.